Well, you know him as a Texas Ranger. You know him as a martial arts master. You know him as a man who frees American POWs from the holes of the nasty communists. But these days, Chuck Norris is playing another role, political activist. Chuck Norris hit the 2008 presidential campaign trail earlier this year, where he threw his support behind GOP presidential hopeful Mike Huckabee. My plan is secure the border. Two words. Chuck Norris. Crisscrossing the country in what came to be known as the Huck and Chuck Tour. After Huckabee bowed out of the race, Norris continued to speak out about the most pressing issues facing America. In his book, Black Belt Patriotism, How to Reawaken America, Norris argues that America needs to return to its Christian roots, secure its borders, and regain its fiscal sanity. Well, Chuck Norris and his lovely wife, Gina, join us now by satellite from Texas. Man, it's good to have you folks with us. Oh, thank oh, you. It's good a pleasure. Morning. Yeah, I want to ask you guys something. I bought one of those total gems on the basis of your endorsement. Do you really use them, honest to goodness? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> Every morning. <laughs> no oh, food. yeah, I've been using it for 32 years. Okay, well, it keeps you fit. I understand that the, all that kickboxing led to something with your hip. You had a hip replacement a couple of years ago, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Uh, you know, from all those uh, f the forty, almost fifty years of kicking, you know, I uh, it uh, it uh, and all plus all my stunts. You know, I had a lot of hip uh, injuries uh, doing my stunts and mm -hmm. over the years. So it was a combination of the stunts I've been doing for years plus all the kicking I've done for all these years. <laughs> and so anyway, <laughs> I had to put a new hip in. Well, you're doing fine with it, though, aren't you? Oh yeah, it's. Yeah. I mean, it's as good as the uh, you know, or better than the old one. What do you guys see about America? I know you've written a book called Black Belt Patriotism. What, mm -hmm. what do you see is going on with the direction of this country? Well, I just think we're heading down the wrong direction. You know, you know uh, it, we need to restore patriotism as a founder's minute to be. You know, I think we need to restore our sense of civility. Uh, morality and responsibility. And uh, I think uh, we've drifted from that, and uh, we just need to get back on the right track as our founding fathers. You know, I do a lot of reading about our founding fathers and on history, and, and you know, they had a vision for our America mm -hmm. that uh, was not corrupted by greed and power. Mm -hmm. And I think, unfortunately, many of our politicians have fallen into that trap of, uh, you know, of excessive greed and excessive power, and we need to turn that around. We, the people, have got to get back, get control back of our country. How's that going to be done? What do you think we need to do? Well, f uh, first thing I think we need to do is, uh, Mike Huckabee says, I think that we need to get a fair tax, mm -hmm. a consumption tax going in our country where the people get 100% of their money. Mm -hmm. And uh, the thing is, you know, there's $13 trillion dollars in offshore accounts where the super rich are hiding their money. If we could bring that $13 trillion back into our economy, it would give our country a huge boost. And the three million manufacturing jobs that are being outsourced mm -hmm. to other countries because of the heavy taxation in our country, we could bring that all back and that would give our country a huge boost. And so we, I really believe that what we need to do is uh, get a fair tax going and let the people be responsible for their own money, not let government, because they're very irresponsible with our money. <laughs> There's no question about it. Gina, you, you've got a couple of children. What, what do you see uh, down the road as far as education? Are you sending them to public schools, private schools? What are you doing? No, actually, we're homeschooling Dakota and Danny Lee, and it's going really, really well. Our older daughter is a teacher, so we're really blessed to be able to do that. But we are concerned about the youth of today and the culture war that they're facing, and we believe that they need to be equipped. Um, they're just barraged with all of this negative influence, and they need to be told the truth. And this book that my husband's written, we hope will encourage them and equip them with the truth and the courage that they're going to need to stand up and fight this culture war. It's serious today, and it's not getting any better. The, the funny thing is, and I think that you probably know this, uh, there's these Chuck Norris facts out, so it's, it's really reconnected my husband with the youth today. It, it's all part of God's plan, and it's really exciting just to see him be able to uh, have a platform to speak into their life. Well, you well I have kind of a joke. I have kind of a joke there. You know, one of the Chuck Norris facts is that America's not a democracy, it's a Chuck Tatorship. <laughs> and I said, I said, now, if that was true, if that was true, I would go to Washington and I'd line up every member of Washington 
And then I'd have Ron Paul, who I believe is one of the more honest politicians <laughs> back there. I'd say, Ron, point out the honest politicians and the dishonest ones. And he, we'd go down the line. He'd say, he's an honest, he's honest, he's corrupted. I'd walk up to him. I, uh, I'd say, you're fired. And if he didn't move immediately, I would choke him unconscious and lay him and roll him over to the side there. <laughs> the yeah, millennials well, I love this. I, I thought you were going to have a firing squad. Or <laughs> Listen, uh, Huckabee was talking about the borders. You're really concerned about illegal immigration. Tell us about it. Well, I believe that there is a solution to illegal immigration. I believe the first thing we do need to do, of course, is secure our borders. We, we can spend $85 billion trying to bail out AIG, but we can't spend $2 billion to secure our borders. It, it's ludicrous. It's crazy. And then if, once we secure, secure our borders, then what we can do is find the people who are uh, uh, reputable, you know, because there's 12 million, over 12 million illegal immigrants here, not counting their children. So let's find the ones that are reputable, ones who are ma uh, making a good uh, living here or who are trying to Productive. make a good living and have their children here. And let's give them a temporary worker's permit so they can stay and work towards citizenship. And then all the others make them fugitives where they are actually going against the law by being here and, and track them down. And if they uh, are just illegals with no crime or criminal record, send them back home. If they are criminals, put them, uh, incarcerate them. And this way we can, uh, we can uh, you know, get this thing stabilized in our country today. They call it tough love. And ladies and gentlemen, the book yes, is Black love. Belt Patriotism. And Chuck, I, I might add, uh, your program a few years ago <clears throat> was an absolute dog. And you took over that show, t uh, Walker, Texas Ranger, and made it into a smash hit. What did you do? Did you, are you producing that or did you produce it? Yes, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I turned it into a family-oriented show. I, uh, I had it where there was enough action where a dad would sit down and watch it, but not to the point where the kids couldn't sit down and watch it. And the relationships Walker had with uh, C.D. Parker and Alex Cahill. And, uh, and you know what? I did a lot of, uh, you know, my highest rated show was a Christian show. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do a faith-based episode, which I got a little flack from, from a CBS in the beginning, but I did it. And it was the first time I became a top Ten show. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I saw a rerun last night uh, of the black church and a little black girl and a choir singing about Jesus. Is that the one you're talking oh, about? Oh yeah, yeah, the that neighborhood. Neighborhood. That it was was wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was my first top ten show, and then I actually I even did one about Jesus in the show. And, uh, you know, which I got a lot of flack from, but it became the highest rated show of the year. I won the Epiphany Award for the best Christian programming of the year. Mm -hmm. And so after that, CBS left me alone and let me do whatever I wanted to do. So I <laughs> was doing about 12 different uh, faith-based shows on Walker. Well, you were terrific, and I appreciate you and Gina. And keep working the total gym, and I will be on mine, and I'll think of you every time I get on that All thing. All right. I'm going I'm 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 to keep up on you with that. I'm going to make sure you're still working out on that thing. Merry Christmas. Christmas, you guys. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to both of you. God bless you. Chuck God and Gina you Norris. Too. Thank you. Black Belt Patriotism is the book published by Regnery Press. It's available where books are sold. Mm -hmm. Great, Great guy. guy. Great hey, couple. What he did mm -hmm. with that show, it was a disaster. And he took it over and, and, and made it into this wonderful program. Well, you, you wish the networks would get the picture in mm. that, don't you? The success of that tells a story about what America wants. Absolutely. I,